Hi everybody, with the euphoria that's happening with Chapel Heart at the moment, we are going on an explosive country new road taken by these three women of color who said the immortal words to Simon Cowell that we feel we've been judged by, we're not acceptable because of what we are. Not the size or the shape of these girls, but the, the fact that they were of color and doors were closed to them in the country music industry. Such a euphoria has happened since their modern twist of Jolene. In less than two weeks, they're turning the country music industry upside down in shame. And a lot of the stars, Loretta Lynn, as well as Dolly and others, have come forward to say, we're willing to work with you. We don't understand the racism that's happened within the country music. But they have to have been, a, and I will say this, as a generic white person, they would have to have been aware, they're not stupid, of how few people of colour, country and western stars, were coming through Nashville. It was very much a white dominated music industry but I think as Simon Cowell said you're going to smash a lot of doors and I think what's happened is Nashville is now being shamed whenever else they could it's now time for them to seize their moments after the golden buzzer with their with this second album that has catapulted into number three in the iTunes country music charts in less than a week called the girls are back in town I'm featuring today live the the title track but I'm giving you this background on the album itself an impassioned and sonically diverse work that's unbashably country while also including a little rock attitude and even some contemporary cuts to appeal to a wider selection of the country genre it all begins with the voices to chap heart when they were at their best any song could be stripped back to a cappella arrangement and still shine but it's the diverse expressions they explore within country genre that makes this recording entertaining EP a must-have in your collection, trust me. With unexpected turns, lots of ground covered with a keen adaptness and imbued with blood harmonies. You have numerous straightforward traditional country songs like the opener, Nearly Over You, Just Say I Love You, which were written by Brandy Shields of Little Texas and Angel. But the stratosphere these ladies are aiming for I feel is so evident in their music. There's guitars, there's the loud voices, there's the shouts to the crowd, get involved. And it's incredible energy. They display that in the Golden Buzzer moment with all the judges coming together and wanting them straight through. And justifiably so. But at the same time, that album just oozes of energy. It's an incredible, refreshing whoa of this is the modern twist country music ought to be going in. Nobody found it until these three ladies created it. And now the world stands and thanks them for it, including Loretta Lynn, Dolly Parton, and others who are jumping on board to say, yep, it did exist. They're brave enough to talk about it. And now we're moving forward. It took to 2022 in the music industry to move forward with this appearance on Simon Cowell's show. America's Got Talent. Well, these girls have talent. I continue. You have numerous straightforward traditional songs as I've talked about. So they find a little attitude in certain songs like Grown Ass Woman and the girls are back in town, which we're going to see live, can't wait, where the trophy evoked the influences of artists like Terry Clark, Gretchen Wilson, Miranda Lambert, and even dropping the hard cuss words, ensuing any notion that they're just a coy little gospel sweethearts. They're a lot more than that. They even take today's mainstream country to task in the song uh, Talgate Trophy, turning bro country tropes upside down and directly mocking the awful Florida Georgia line. Luke Bryan's song, this is how we roll along with most of the mainstream's bro set when they sing i would slide my sugar shaker shake my money maker because you hear it in a song on a radio about some guy with a guitar that they turned into a star and now you find out that he couldn't even sing a note if you did your best to enjoy maddie maddie and trey and always wanted them to be a bit more country a little less pop and to lean even more into their attitude Chapel Heart very well, very well may be the right country group for you to be following. Do you follow them? The whole world's following them now. 
Ah, and it's so refreshing, as you're going to hear. Mm, can't wait. Because the good thing about The Girls Are Back In Town, it has enough variety of songs to appeal to the wide audience of both mainstream, independent listeners, while refusing to give in to the drum machines of other modern country antics. They're still fun and fresh. This album may veer a little too far from the script at times, though, produced by Jeff Jixman, who was known as the longtime producer of Rock Man Kansas and also worked with the late era Black Sabbath and other rock metal bands. Sometimes, as you're going to hear, the guitars in this album get a little too steamy for the situation. Despite the album otherwise include a good amount of fiddle, banjo and steel guitar. That's a redneck summer night. It's evident of this. Sounds like a Chase Rice song, not Chapel Heart. But you can tell the band is probing here, trying to find their sweet spot and where they might resonate most with the audience. I'm telling them right now, where you resonate with the audience, ladies, is the fact that nothing to do with your colour. It's the fact that you just produce the most refreshing, modern, twist and country music that's so kick-ass, no other artist has ever come near. <sighs> As you're going to hear. And no, their audience isn't an NPR listening Americana crowd who loves to flatter themselves by the diversity found in their playlist. And before people say about my playlist, mine is a different is all genres of music on my channel. I'm representing all people and musicians, just like Chapel Heart, who have had doors closed in their face, faces, aren't followed in the music industry, aren't popular. So I'm not out to highlight people on my channel to get views. I'm highlighting musicians and artists and performers just like Chapel Heart on my play playlist that can give you so much entertainment and orgasmic moments just from their music and it's so diverse rock operatic Jonathan Antoine Fauzia modern pop she's the beauty half Moroccan half Canadian check her out I've got the wonderful diva from Spain Veronica Naranko who's incredible, everybody. And I'm finding others from France as well. Marlene Farmer, check her out. I translate all my videos for you. So do subscribe and do press those buttony things and like and comment on the other videos. And do jump on board a revolution I'm trying to make, not within just country, but worldwide. The artists that should be noticed should be on your playlist. So do check out my playlist. <coughs> but back to this. <coughs> Sorry, everybody. A little bit of this. Now, and as I said earlier in August, Chapel Heart played a week's, and that's last in 2021, straight in Sturgis. They are unbashed country girls with that singing on Saturday, praying on Sunday approach to life, indicative of their song, Jesus and Alcohol. Now you can cry all you want about the whole woke thing and what it's done to America culture, but the truth is country music does have ways to go in completely being open, an open space for black and brown performers and women, women especially. But if you want to support black women in country, then they have to be black and they have to be women. But they have to be country too. Chapel Art is a lot more country and a lot more better than any of today's mainstream country acts. And we don't get have to patronise anyone or flatter these ladies by s simply referring they're different because of the colour of the skin. No, they're not. They're just different because they write exceptionally great music. They've earned their applause on the Golden Buzzer moment and worldwide attention they're getting. They really have. And a rightful place with country stars Dolly waking up to the fact, Loretta Lynn waking up to the fact that mm, we have been. And everybody will want a piece of them now to say, I'm not a wokist. I, I never knew this existed. Of course it's did. You look around Nashville, where are the people of colour? You've been shamed into it. But as Simon said, those doors now have been not just knocked down, Simon, they've been blown apart. And much more. Because most of the generic white dudes from the burbs that make up most of the country today are now waking up to move aside. We have arrived, the people of colour. 
and we have arrived because we deserve to have our place too and to be listened to so that's my short analysis believe it or not it's short even though it took up a fair bit of time and I'm just checking the time because I have to check my videos it's 12 minutes so we need to get going straight away I have the lyrics that I will go through very quickly let's get going with listening to the people that have now turned country music upside down inside out with their steamy guitars and their bashfulness and their liveliness and don't forget everybody to check out my description and link the link to their album it, it's jumped in at number three in the itunes at the moment make it number one for them they deserve it why just take a listen the girls are back in town <laughs> come on we'll sing it like this you can stand to your feet tonight this will be our last song about the interference. I'm gonna try and stop. Yes, you are. We love y'all so much. We're Shamba Hunt. That's been our time. Thank you so much. Make sure everyone of you can follow us on social media. I think you can meet us outside for a little meet and greet. So y'all don't you run off at the same time. Love to South Carolina. If you had a good time, somebody make some noise. <laughs> I'm just so alive after that sorry about that little interference because it's all live today it really is but we're going to get into the lyrics itself because people will ask about the lyrics it starts hey it's news now main attraction we're back 
Tell the boys now we want passion. We're back. I've been waiting for a long, long time. Girls are back in town searching for a man for some wild affection. Girls are back in town. Hurry to me if you long for passion. Hurry up now. We're impatient. Hurry back. Longing for some satisfaction. We're back. Girls are back in town. Searching for a man for some wild affection. Girls are back in town. Hurry to me if you long for passion. Girls are back in town. Searching for man for some wild affection. So it's that kind of thing. Affection. The back in town. Satisfaction. It's almost hormonally, hormonally making their presence known on stage to say, Hey, forget the testosterone of the men over the last 20 years in country. We girls are going to produce the testosterone levels now, both for women and men alike. Because don't forget, scientifically, it's been proved women have testosterone as well. And you go back to that and you go back to the infectious euphoria that they send off stage. And you just, it's like the osmosis effect. It just sprinkles you with magic dust and you become alive. I couldn't hold back in that song. And I looked at the audience and no disrespect to everybody in that audience. Were they half dead or what? And even at the end when she said, come on, make some noise. The euphoria that happened on the golden buzzer moment in America's Got Talent compared to that audience was, but it's all going to change. People are going to, love the album they're going to make it number one you are you're going to download it aren't you yeah yeah and secondly they're just going to sell out so many tickets now because people know they're going to go for a kick-ass show of country music they really are going to turn it around and a lot of people are going to turn around and go oops and the difference is a lot of country stars sidelined country when they made it famous and went into mainstream pop no, too numerous to mention but for what it's worth we know who they are and what's happened with these girls is they're going to wish they had stayed in country because think about this logically there was a market space for people of color that's the box checked there was a market space for people authentic who can write their own music, who can perform live, who will deliver powerful, a modern twist on country. They tick all the boxes. And do you know what they tick the box on, most of all? Just take a few seconds and think about it. Pure entertainment. Oh, country music is back alive and kicking because of them. And they've no competition. Think about that. They have launch themselves in an era of music and they're going to revolutionize it modernize it captivate us and have it all to them glorious selves they have no competition in the music industry as simon cowell says they didn't they'll knock down the doors i'm going to add to that they've just blown them apart thanks for listening don't forget to like subscribe and press those buttony things i've had a wonderful wonderful time <sighs> listening to these extraordinary women i hope you have too take care bye bye and we have to